Hello and welcome to iStock, where we don't just report the news. We know sometimes fans can be crazy. Today, Crow's Blood trailer teased, Make you Labyrinth of Death to hit a PS Vita near you, and Tomita Mayu stabbed by a fan multiple times. Sony Music Entertainment Japan Inc. are teaming up with a Japan-US co-production on a brand new horror suspense TV drama called Crow's Blood. Directed and written by Darren Lynn Bozeman, who's also the executive producer, Crow's Blood will be filmed in Tokyo and will work with such Japanese celebrities as AKB48's Mayu Watanabe and Sakura Miyawaki. The film will be fronted by both Sony Music Entertainment and Hulu Japan as a brand new TV drama. Crow's Blood itself is an entertainment drama which aids to tackle some very heavy and controversial topics, such as reanimation of life after someone has died, and the role of playing God. Idea Factory have posted some more information on the upcoming release of MayQ, Labyrinth of Death, which will be coming to North America and Europe this fall. The game will be released for PlayStation Vita, and also will be compatible with the PlayStation TV. In the game, you play through four tower mazes in a challenging dungeon crawl RPG, where you'll be joined by heroines and their giant mechanical guardians. Those guardians will be able to be customized for battle to take on any obstacle in your way. The official site has various screenshots and videos about the game that'll be coming westward later in the year. Sometimes fandom can go too far, and unfortunately this can result in people getting hurt. 20-year-old idol Tomi Tamayu, who is a third-year college student, was stabbed in the neck, chest, arms, and back more than 20 times by a fan back on May 21st in the evening. Tomita was then rushed to the hospital and has been in critical condition. The police caught a 27-year-old man named Iwazaki Tomohiro, who is the suspect as he messaged the idol on various social networks online. She was supposed to perform a live event at a venue in Kogane City in Tokyo and was about to walk into the event when the incident happened. This is Elk reporting the news on Wednesday, May the 25th, 2016. For more 91.8 The Fan Awesome, visit our website 918thefan.com. Check out our forums, or head over to our chat room where you can talk with DJs, writers, and other fans. Or follow our Twitter, Facebook, and Tumblr to stay up to date with what's going on in the 91.8 The Fan world. Most importantly, tune into our 24-7 live radio station that plays everything you want and nothing you don't. Hope to see you there, and thanks for listening.